Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'll do a quick video on how I do um, valve springs for a 5.3, um, 4.860, any LS motor. Um, this is the motor out of that hunk of junk right there, 03 Yukon. Um, it's going in the Comanche over there. So is. This Dana 70 and Dana 60 with some bald 42s. Um, I just installed the cam yesterday. Not doing valve springs today. Um, I made my own valve spring compressor. Um, basically, all it is is a stubby wrench with a hole drilled out of the center. Um, this is number eight, um, eight millimeter by 125 is the thread pattern for here. And simply all it does is what I like to do is thread this rod all the way in. This was actually a long bolt that I just cut the head off of. Um, I like to thread it all the way in just so that way I'm not pulling any threads on these aluminum heads. Um, but basically, do that there. Um, you can do any, you can do a piece of metal. Um, I just had a bunch of these laying around, um, and three quarters seem to work well. It fits on the outside of the shoulder. Um, so yeah, do that. I get this set up here. Um, I got my air compressor going. I got it regulated at about 60 PSI. Um, so then what you're gonna need from AutoZone or somewhere, um, review shop, a compression tester. Uh, AutoZone's part number is that right there, 27138. Um, but whatever one you get, you want to make sure that it has an air fitting on it, not some special fitting for these. I know I've seen two different kinds. Um, this one actually has the fitting that you need for an air hose. Um, one thing that almost messed me up, I wasn't paying attention, was this has a Schrader valve in it right there. Um, it doesn't let air come through the back way. Luckily, the first one I did, the cylinder was all the way up and I dropped the spring and the valve fell but it only fell a quarter well it fell probably about a half inch but it hit the top of the piston thankfully um, but so yeah you want to make sure that you remove the straighter valve when you do this um, it comes with this adapter as well you can have three different fittings there there and there for the thread pattern um, but let's see if I can do this well, bear with me one second. You thread the adapter on to here. It's got o rings so you don't really need to crank down on these. Um, and then it goes in the cylinder hole or the spark plug hole. Simple like that. Simple enough. And there's tons of videos on these on YouTube, but I just wanted to make one for my channel because um, I enjoy making videos. Um, Alright, you got that good and snug. And then you're going to hook up the airline to it. One second. Alright, got the airline hooked up. Um, you don't need a dead blow. Sometimes the keepers on the valves will get stuck, um, so just give them a, hit them all a few times, um, and then now I got this set up. I'm just gonna tighten it down like that. A few clicks. Take your magnet. Pull off the keepers. Leave them on the magnet so you don't lose them. Take the new spring. Not yet, I'm getting ahead of myself. Back the tool off. Just 
just enough. Remove it. Take the old spring off. Take the top piece, whatever you want to call these, the spring hats or whatever the proper name is for them. Put it back together. This is a lot easier to do with two hands. But you get the idea. Um, you want to set that up to where it's straight, obviously. put the keepers back on. Oh, this would be hard to do one hand. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Sometimes the spring is a little crooked on there like it is now. It won't go in. Um, so what I've just been doing Taking my specially bent um, pry bar and kind of just pry it forward just a little bit where you can get enough room to get that other keeper in. And now that it's in, usually I'd be using my other hand to hold them in place, but you get the idea. Back them off just like so. And it's done. New springs in. And then you take the stud out and you go on to the next one. Simple enough, right? Well, that's my way of doing it. Simple, cheap way. It didn't cost me nothing. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.